if you want to become Shazam, then you just gotta say the word. So today, we're going to do a movie review on the latest DC movie that was released, Shazam. Came to the year of 2019. So basically, the plot is, is that we have Billy Batson, who, um, is doing his normal stuff. He, um, is in the car, and his toy is taken away, but then he meets this mysterious wizard, who, um, uh, gives him some powers. But then later on, he's back in the car, and then, uh, they get... Then they get uh, crashed by the truck. But then later on, uh, uh, Billy Batson goes to school and he is getting bullied. Then he returns to the wizard and um, the wizard gives him the power. But then once he says the word, he's the real Shazam. Which that means um, he is uh, going to become an actual superhero with all of his tests, which he needs to do with flying and his electrocuting tests and learning to be an actual superhero. While some things weren't very good what he did, like the bus was the bus almost went off the bridge. And um it he actually saved it, but didn't do well. But then the villain, who is also has an, an arm who who has an army of monsters at the Christmas fair, which that means um, the monsters are attacking. Then um, uh, later on, um, they open up all the doors, but then uh, Billy Batson and his family have to fight off the villain and his monsters, got to save the city, and that's basically what the plot is. So what do I think of this movie? Well, it was a great film. I really enjoyed it. I know, I know. I thought this movie. Was, I thought this film was better than Justice League, in my opinion. Now, just so you know, I don't hate Justice League. I thought the movie. I thought the movie was pretty decent, but it's a very underrated superhero movie. Yeah, but still, this was a really fun movie. The jokes were outstandingly funny, and the humor was great. The characters were really likable as well. Yeah, it had a really great uh, sense of humor. This film, it was really funny, and I think this might be um. Uh, the best movie of 2019 so far, but I could go with it a tie. Although this this movie might not be might not be as good as as Aquaman, but it is still enjoyable. So overall, I give Shazam. Uh, I think I'll have to go for ten out of ten probably. Yeah, it is a really enjoyable film, and it's worth watching. Anyway, that's all for this review.